Hi, in this video, you're gonna learn about the UI button listener, how it works, and more importantly, how to use it. Let's get started. To create a UI button listener, you just go to the hierarchy view, right click, doozy, listeners, and select UI button listener. That's it. The UI button listener does exactly what it says. It listens for UI buttons. And more, more precisely, it listens for a specific action. In this case, on click. It can listen for double click, long click, on point and enter, and so on. Any button action can trigger this listener. So let's uh, create some buttons and let's see it in action. I'm going to create a UI button. I'm going to duplicate it. And let's say this will be my button one. And let's say one. Let's create a button two. So button two here. This is the button name. And let's select them button three. Button three, not two, three. I'm also naming them so they look nice. And believe it or not, just listen for your buttons and enable debug mode so that you know what is happening. And look in the console and see. Okay, so the first message you see is that the UI button listeners start listening for UI button actions. If I disable the game object, you'll see that it will tell you that it stopped listening for UI button actions. There you go. So you also know if you have debug mode enabled when it started and when it stopped listening. Let's clear this. Let's re-enable it. And now if I press one, one has been triggered, two, and three. So you can see it captures all the UI buttons, button clicks. If I say double click, it won't capture anything. Even if I double click this button, if it does not have the double click action enabled, it will not work. So I'm going to enable double click for button one. Let's enable it. And now double click on three doesn't work. Double click for two doesn't work, but double click on one, it will work. There you go. If I click it, if I click, it doesn't do anything. If I double click, it works. Let's say I want to listen for long clicks. Again, long click. And let's say button two to work with long click. If I hold the button one, it won't work. If I hold button three, it won't work. But if I hold button two, check it out, it reacted. Now, let's say I want to listen for all for the button clicks for a particular button. So I'm say I'm gonna say on click and I'm gonna select button one. So if I click three, it won't do anything. If I click two, it won't do anything. But if I click one, it will react. And that's it. Whenever it is uh, triggered, it will uh, activate its uh, Unity event and it will um, execute its uh, callback. So that's all there is to it, this uh, component. Of course, here you have a manual link, so you can uh, read the documentation. And here you have a link to this YouTube video to, to remind you how to use it. And that's it. Thank you very much.